How you doing? George, how did, how did the team take the post game remarks the other night from Coach? When you, you guys are not as good as you think you are. Uh, I believe we all agreed with him. I, uh, I think that there was a lot that could be improved in that game. Um, uh, we also agree with how he said, you know, we learned how to fight for 60 minutes before the ball, the ball game, you know, fight the, the whole game. But uh, there's a lot of stuff that we could definitely improve on. I mean, did it sort of surprise you that he came in with a little, I mean, a little I criticism think, rather than elation? After I think it surprised a, a little uh, some of us. Um, I was actually... Uh, yeah, I thought that was that speech was probably coming um, just because of you know us having penalties and stuff like that. But I mean, it didn't surprise me too much. Are you ready to finally get away from the stadium and go out and play a road game? Now? I mean, not really. I mean, I, I am. I, you always like playing home, but you, you know you kind of want to go ahead and uh, get out there and see what see what it's like to play somewhere else and see how we respond in somebody else's house. Coach O'Brien says he's going to be expecting some leadership from the older, some of the older guys for this road trip. How are you going to motivate the people who are not as experienced playing on the road? You know, you, you just uh, you kind of reassure them. You, you, uh, you know, let them know they're going to be okay. And just let them know that they need to worry about their job and, and everything else is going to fall into place. And just, you know, don't tell them not to worry too much and just go out there and play. Do you like about the way things are going for you offensively right now? Uh, you know, I, I just think that uh, our offense as a whole is playing real well. I think um, everybody's doing their job, like I said, and it's coming together. I think our uh, our offensive line did a great job this past game of uh, keeping people off of Russell. We didn't give up any sacks. Our receivers uh, and running backs are running great routes, and, and Russell's making great reads, and we're just coming together, I believe. So you just have to fix the tight end there and be all set, right? Exactly. <laughs> you guys came out of it okay, I guess, at one and one, considering South Carolina. Yeah. But are you a little bit surprised that the ACC has struggled as much as it has in sort of the big games in the pre -se I mean, early season? Um, I mean, I, I, I can't really answer that. I, I'm not real sure. I, uh, I just think, you know, <coughs> Any game that you go into, anybody can win. It just depends on who comes and plays. What's the mindset like in the huddle on, say, the final drive when you need a first down? The mindset uh, to either you know, stay on task, um, try to try to get the first get the first down, or and score. That's our mindset is getting to the end zone. Do you consider it an advantage or a disadvantage that you had four home games in a row and haven't been on the road yet? Uh, I would consider it an advantage. I mean, we know how we're going to play at uh, at home. We're three and one now. Um, we're playing well, and you know we've got you know the crowds backing us up good because there's a buzz about us, and, and I think that uh, us playing home gave us you know we kind of came together, and it wasn't as much pressure playing at home because we had people backing us up and playing on the road. George, you know how well Russell Wilson was playing at the end of last season uh, before he got hurt in the first half of the, the bowl game. Is he playing even better now, or is he playing just as, as, as well as, as he was at, at that point in time? I, I think Russell uh, gets better every single game that he plays in. I think he's uh, you know, miles ahead of what he played last year, and I think he's going to do nothing but keep getting better. And uh, you know, what Russell's personality is he, he's one of the hardest workers I've ever met in my life. And, uh, He's going to do nothing but just keep getting better. How smart is Russell? Uh, probably one of the smartest guy. Football-wise, the smartest guy I've probably ever played with. Um, he just understands the game so well. And, I mean, that's a credit to him because he's the first guy in the film room uh, looking at film, studying, breaking down film and stuff. I mean, and he just puts in the work and it shows out on the field. Do you have an example of his intelligence? I mean, uh, just... I guess when you know, knowing when, you know, when Russell knows when to run. Like if if no one's open, he he understands. Okay, well, I need to tuck it and just take off. Or I mean, then the other way, he sits back there and waits for somebody to get open. I mean, he just knows what he has to do. George, one of the question marks going into the pit game was uh, could Denson State generate 
enough, enough of a running game to, to keep the defense honest and rush for, for more than 200 yards, which is uh, kind of a rarity. Uh, talk a little bit about how satisfying that particular aspect of the game was and how much you think the offensive line has improved in the last couple of weeks. I mean, just the offensive line, they, they've gotten better every single game, just like Russell has and everybody else on the uh, offense. And uh, Tony Baker did a great job of running hard. And the offensive line did a great job of making holes for him. And, uh, you know, it would just keep getting better every week. And uh, I think that there's, there's a lot more of those games to come in our, uh, our rushing game. Yeah, what the, when, you're, when you're in pass protect, is it tough? I, mean, I know that's not very often, but, I mean, when you're in solid pass protect at your position, is it a little bit tough to know what Russell's going to do back there? Do you have to sort of? Um, Speak out the back of your helmet or something. Not really. I'm all, we're always told to worry about what you have to do, and and Russell worries about what he has to do. And if we all just you know, if I if I kick back and block the outside guy, I, I'm, I'm gonna understand that Russell's gonna stay into the pocket, you know, for that three seconds that he has if he has that. And then you know, if it gets a little bit longer, then you gotta realize that Russell's probably gonna take it, and take mm -hmm. off with it. So I mean, you just do your job and hope everything works. So it is a three second hold, right? I mean, that's usually like he. That would probably be uh, definitely a, a long for him. But uh, I mean, okay. he gets the ball way faster than that. Right. Given the amount of damage he did it again the other day and last year, Miami, <coughs> the amount of damage he does running against man coverage with those runoffs, are, are you surprised when a team like that ends up showing you that much man coverage that he, he punishes you for that? I, uh, I, I, I mean. You know, obviously they must have saw something they thought that they could cover Russell uh, in man or us in man. And, uh, you know, Russell did a great job of, you know, understanding that, that some of his receivers were covered and he just takes off running and gets us a first down or a touchdown. And uh, I wasn't too surprised. I mean, I don't try to worry about what they're going to do. We just, you know, worry about what we have to do and then adjust when the game comes. Do you do any individual drills to work on your hands? Um, the joke machine. Uh, I catch a lot of balls off of that, you know, just watching it in my hands and tucking it and stuff like that. Last year, y'all beat all the in-state teams. I guess it's you know, including Gardner Webb. It's kind of the defense of your state title. Did that mean anything this week? Um, not really. I think we're just worried about Wake Forest because it's the next game, and we're just trying to get another win. Uh, under our belts, we, we try not to think about last year because that was last year, and uh, we're, we're you know worried about what's down the road and not what's behind us. And you know, Wake Forest is the next game, and that's the most important to us right now.